the best way to explain what design and architecture is, is to, uh, is to listen to the Danish word for design, which is uh, form giving, form giving. Because design is literally to give form to that which has not yet been given form. Uh, in other words, to give form to the future. Uh, and more specifically, it means that we as human beings and as designers, form givers, have the power to give form to the world as we would like it to be in our future. Maybe there is an example where sustainable cities and sustainable buildings are not just better for the environment, they're also better for the lives of the people that inhabit them. And we call this hedonistic sustainability. Rather than sustainability being about how much you're willing to compromise, it becomes actually about how great a life do you want to have. Um, and, I, and I think that's where maybe our thinking and, and, and Vestra's thinking, uh, and especially Jan Christian's thinking, become one and the same. That this idea of sustainable manufacturing, uh, as he calls it, that you can actually make something that is socially, environmentally, and economically profitable all at the same time. To reimagine the future of sustainable manufacturing that is completely transparent, instead of being all about fences and, uh, and business secrets, it's inviting and it's actually it's in the middle of the forest. And then it's also um, exceptionally uh, sustainable. We're not cutting away more, more forest than we absolutely have to. So we're allowing the trees to go as close to the factory as they possibly can. The factory is also made out of the same uh, wood that we have cleared to make space for it. The, the maybe most inspiring idea is that we mapped the solar radiation on the roof and you get these kind of sunspots where you get the most uh, solar exposure because of the shadow of the trees, because of the inclination of the roof. So they become these weird shapes that are not designed by us. They're calculated by the sun. Uh, so of course you have those configurations on the roof, but we've actually made the, um, the roof accessible. So from all four sides, you are invited to walk up either on the stepping facade, looking into the factory. So you can look into the factory, down on the factory floor, and, and you find yourself on the, uh, on the roof. There's kind of this wide uh, invitation to enjoy the factory uh, in a lot of different ways and actually enjoy the views of the factory from a lot of different perspectives. We tend to divide our world into two, the front of house and the back of house. And the front of house is, is all the nice places. It's, it's the things that deserve architecture. Uh, and you know, it's the lobby. Uh, maybe it's the headquarters where the management sits. Uh, and then there's the back of house. That's, that's where all the real work happens. Uh, that's where all the furniture is made. We actually believe that the most exciting things happen when you combine those two things. And that's exactly what, the, what we've uh, tried to do with Vestra, to imagine uh, a factory uh, that is both front of house and back of house at the same time. The beauty of the factory is the way it's, uh, it's organized. Uh, it's the intersection of a road and a manufacturing plant, which creates this kind of plus. Uh, this kind of propeller or pinwheel. Uh, in the ends, uh, goods can come in and, uh, and, and products can uh, come out. So you can, you can in a way say the logistical diagram becomes the sort of architectural composition. Each area where a certain function is happening is gonna have its own color that uh, is on all of the machinery and then it bleeds out on the floor and creates a little uh, a stain of, of paint around it so you can you so when you go and you see this kind of archipelago of colorful islands where the machines grow out of the color in the future it could be one of the most exciting places to go see uh, not just for someone who's uh, excited about furniture or factories but for someone who's excited about architecture and, uh, and nature